And how much is in the telethon now? We'll go to the tote board in just a minute. My next guest, a legend here at NBC, he is a weatherman on the Today Show and a big, big reason for the popularity of that program. Please welcome uh, Willard Scott. <laughs> It's the friendly show. I gotta do the Bob Costas warm up. I'll be right back. Sit down there, Willard. You look good. You lost a lot of weight. Look, I've go lost, that jacket. Uh, look at that. Almost 60 pounds, gang. Yeah. Yeah. So, Willard, aren't you, uh, aren't you the butter guy? Don't they hear you on the butter cheese? Let me tell you, I went on the greatest diet at Slim Fast and Jack Daniels. <laughs> In one week, I lost 10 pounds of my driver's license. Hey, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that's the only one I've but got. But see, I always see you eating those commercials. You put a stick of butter on each corner on the cob. And... I put butter on butter. I mean, the thing, the biggest... Well, well how do you diet if you... The, I really, I'm, I'm doing commercials for Slim Fast, but that didn't come first. First came the knees. I couldn't walk. Have you ever had the problem? I mean, you are a flower, my dear. I'm going to get to the pedal here. Put my... <laughs> Uh, I love the spray line. That was the best line of the whole thing. Sweet of you, Willard. <laughs> oh, you yeah, Willard. Actually, on the lard. Willard. <laughs> Let me explain. This was known as losing control of the show. No, I'm sorry. Yeah. It's kind of an example of what can happen. I, I, I sat in the green room and watched. I've never licked the monitor before. I was so enamored. I, I, I was kissing your face out there. You, you have turned me on to the point now that I'm alive and well. <laughs> This is better than losing weight and regaining my knee. Excuse me. There seems to be a theme running through the program. <laughs> yeah. uh, let me ask you, Quinn, now, now I notice you're not you're wearing the hair, or maybe that is the hair piece. Are we in trouble? You want to see no. the hair piece? No, this is not the hair you piece. You don't wear it anymore? You, you don't wear it. Uh, of course not. I'm very nice. Uh, I certainly don't. You don't wear it. <laughs> and Billy, you don't wear a... Uh, no. Do you don't wear it? Uh, that is the folks. Is no, that this is the that's a, one you've ever seen. No, this is a, it's a, it's a good brought, one. I brought it with me in case you want to see it. Now, what would something like that cost? Now, you're a, this one, you're a professional guy. You go to a guy. What would he charge you for that? That's, <laughs> that's exactly right. I think you know this. <laughs> this this hairpiece this hair uh, has seen more action than a policeman's You know, I feel like George yeah. Goble. <laughs> I bet, I know now, we got, what would that cost you? What would you have to shove this out? This one is that? for free. Right now, you're going to have is, that this one. Is, well, actually, I ran over this on the freeway coming in from the airport. Now this thing, I've reached the point now where I don't wear it. You don't wear it on. It's a gag. I used, yeah. I used to wear it as, what's that? Look at your shoes, Willard. <laughs> well, I have, uh... These... Are you, are you trying to pass for European? <laughs> these are... These, you'll love these. These are beta shoes. The folks that make... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let me just tell you. Yes, go ahead. Jay, the... The thing about this hairpiece, it's always been a gag. I've never, you know, really worn it seriously. I get it, you know, where it's so people can talk. It's publicity. But the thing that you really want to do is out here in California, if you really want to impress somebody, you walk along the beach, you know, and you want to meet a, a nice young lady, you put this in here to let her think you're really a virile dude. Yeah. And you strut Assuming around. Assuming you're walking along the beach in a suit. Yeah. Well, yeah. You can stick it in your T-shirt. Yeah. It has the, uh, I've used this, that's it's a money maker. I paid, yeah. you want to see it? Yeah. Anybody got any gum? <laughs> Actually, let's, people ask all the time, what do you... Let's see how, let's see how realistic it looks. Good. Want to know what you, you know, use to hold these things on? Yeah. I use a big, hairy thumbtack. And, uh, now, understand I haven't yeah. had a chance to comb this. Yeah. So it's um, not going to look really as no, nice we, as... No, we understand. You understand that? <laughs> yeah, it's all right. There you are. Sorry. Now, if you want, if you want to... Uh, so just keep it on for the rest of the day. No, keep it on for the rest. Because anybody turning around now, I just want them to go, look how phony that looks. Give me a kiss and go. Uh, two. That's... Now, if you, if you want a younger look, see, this is, this is reversible. This is the 1939 band leader look. But if you want to look a little more modern, like, for instance, with all respect, you know, you, let's face it, you know, this is your modern performer. You want the modern look. So you just reverse it like this. Oh, I see. And it gives you money. You have a hippie stick. You know, I don't remember ever seeing a hippie that looked like that. something? Yes, go ahead. I'd like to congratulate Willard. Isn't it incredible what lovely humor he has managed to coax out of such a simple thing as a little wig? <laughs> <laughs> 
he's managed to... A simple thing like that. <laughs> From the garden of your bee bosom there, I want to thank you very, very much. And I want to ask him something, Jay. Did, did you know this? Did you know he was the original Ronald McDonald? Did you know that name? Are you? Yes. Really? And I was Bozo the Clown, too. Yeah. Are you... Now, yes. Now, you all obviously are not reacting to that the way I would expect you to, right. but you don't understand. I'm from Washington, D.C. Do you know how tough it... See? Somebody just lost their job. I... It is so tough to be a clown in Washington. I mean, you compete with Congress and administrations like I... So, I mean, to be a professional clown in Washington was a real thrill. It must have been, but, but I must ask you something. Certainly. <laughs> Let me move this. It's uh, <laughs> up in my as a centerpiece. Will it be a nice day tomorrow? It all <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, right? It all depends on who you're with, my dear. <laughs> <laughs> what an evasive answer that was. I told you I'm from Washington, DC. <laughs> <laughs> now, Willard, you always say in your, in your broadcast, so this is a wonderful place, and this is one of the best places I've ever been. Any place you don't like? Any place you don't want to go back to? You've been, you don't Bob like? Wright's office. Oh, Bob Wright's office. I was, here yeah, see? he liked that. <laughs> <laughs> I was in there once. I don't ever want to go back. Oh, really? You no, too, yeah, huh? Yeah, 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 been yeah. in there. Do you know, let me... I was a carpet. Let yeah. me... <laughs> I was a rug for the FBI. Yeah. 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 Get out of here. That's right. I just... May I say one little thing? Please and then I'll get out Please say something here. short. <laughs> I'm... I've got guiding light right behind me. I've got to go do another show. Oh, but uh, another I've, I've, is, I've, is there another show? Conan the Barbarian. He's on right after this show. It's my favorite show. Next to the. Right. Well, oh, thank you, Will. But <laughs> of all the things, my career has been unlike yours, planned and organized. Mine has been dumb luck, a series of everything. But the greatest thrill of my life, two things. One was working with Jimmy Henson, the Muppets. When they first came on television, he was 17 years old, and I was his kind of foil. And then I worked, uh, of course, with the Today Show, which I love very much, and my birthday buddies. I hope you all live to be 100, and I'm at least hanging on with the Bryant and Katie and all. There you again. go. Thank well, it's Scott, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it's Scott.